Hi, welcome to our first PMOD Monthly for 2017. This month we are focusing on how to use PMODs in LabVIEW. Austin is going to take us through exactly step by step how to use the existing sub VIs and where to find them, download all the software and everything you need to get going with PMODs in LabVIEW. Hi, I'm going to be walking you through my uh, tutorial on using PMOD sub VIs in LabVIEW. Uh, the start of this tutorial goes over installing links. Um, instead of going through that again, I'm going to have you click the link on your screen, which will take you to this video, which will walk through the installation of links and um, the setup. After you're done with that, go ahead and open up LabVIEW, open a new VI, go to the block diagram, right click to open your functions palette, and to get to the uh, PMOD sub VIs, you're going to want to pin this down. Go to MakerHub, Links, Sensors, move this up, PMODs. And uh, these are the PMODs that are currently available uh, with sub VIs. Some of these have three sub VIs an open, a read, and a close, while others only have two. Uh, these are the PMODs that don't need closed VIs, uh, sub VIs. Rather than show you how to build one of these now. I'm going to show you how to get to examples. So there's an example for each of these uh, PMODs. You can find that by going to help, find examples, go to search, and then just type in links. This will pop open uh, a list of all of the links examples. And then if you come down, you can see all of the PMODs here. Um, let's just open up the TMP3 PMOD. As you can see, each PMOD example has uh, a set of instructions that walk you through the setup. If you go to the block diagram, you can see that there's also a little bit of explanation for each of the steps, which will make it easier when you want to build your own block diagram. And um, that's about all I have for you. So that wraps up my tutorial. For any more information, please check out labviewmakerhub.com and ask questions on the Digital and Forum. Thanks for watching. We hope you found that quick guide useful. If you are interested in any of our written material, including um, the written tutorial that's hosted on our wiki, uh, the blog post that Austin has written up, as well as any of the links to download the applicable software, please check the links below the video here and subscribe to stay up to date with our products and services. Thanks.